Hey everyone, welcome back to My Apple Zone, and in this video I'm going to be talking about Final Cut Pro 10. So let's get started. So today at the National Association of Broadcasters, Apple finally updated Final Cut Pro. Randy Ubilis, Apple's chief architect of video applications, demonstrated Final Cut Pro 10. Final Cut Pro 10 has been the long-awaited update to Final Cut Pro 7, which was showing its age in many ways. Final Cut Pro 10 has an all-new interface and design. It's rewritten from scratch to support 64-bit architecture, which will allow the program to address more than 4 gigabytes of RAM and take advantage of multi-core processors. Final Cut Pro 10 will also take advantage of core Mac OS X features like Coco, Core Animation, and OpenCL. It has built-in support for the multi-core optimization process introduced in Snow Leopard, also known as Grand Central Dispatch, and rendering is now done almost completely in the background. There was no mention of the fate of Final Cut Express, which hasn't been refreshed since August of 2008. Final Cut Pro will be available in June and can be purchased through the Mac App Store for $299. However, there is currently no distinction between the upgrade price and new product pricing. But at $299, Final Cut Pro 10 may not include all of the other applications currently included in Final Cut Studio. Motion 4, Soundtrack Pro 3, Color 1.5, Compressor 3.5, and DVD Studio Pro 4. There was also no mention of if or when these would be upgraded. Final Cut Pro users will likely have to wait a few more months before all of this becomes clear. Well that's my quick update on Final Cut Pro 10. I for one am really looking forward to Final Cut Pro 10 and will post a complete review when it becomes available. Thanks everyone for stopping by, I really appreciate it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up to support the channel. And until next time, I will talk to you later.